distracted because so I had to sit set. What will happen to civilization and humanity if we started to be deprived of water? Uh, scientists will say, and uh, you know, history is telling us, the next war will be water. It's not for oil, it's not for money or anything, it is for water. I always loved meeting people, new people, and uh, since I returned to Iraq in 2008, I feel I gave a commitment to um, to take the cause and to try to work with international community who have more experience and skills in restoring environment. And because our environment is really in a bad, bad shape, and uh, we were lucky to have Dr. Stevens visiting us from uh, from here, from Sac State, and uh, she actually initiated the idea all for me to to come meet with her and other staff and uh, look at what is happening around here, learn from that. So that really opened my eyes and how much the water is like really low and all that stuff and how much clean water there's really not that much clean water there and all that stuff. It's very important especially um, with pollution and, with, and especially with water being so scarce. Um, you don't want to um, waste as you know you want as much water as you can possibly have because when it's gone, it's gone. And, um, and I think it's good to be sustainable for future generations. And, you know, just learning more about the environment and having people become more aware of how they can live with greener is just, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> for students in uh, the U.S. and any student, international student, I think... Um, Having a wider perspective about the world, I see this is really important. More understanding create more awareness and mm -hmm. promote peace in the world. So uh, wherever I go, I try even without invitation to find opportunities to talk to people in general. And I think the future is in the hand of young uh, generations, the students, especially educated. Uh, university students so I think it, it was a great opportunity given to me to talk to a student uh, here in Sachs University.